Greetings you people, this is Briar Stone and I welcome you back to Skyrim Roguelike. This is Alamir, our Bosmer Hunter. Last chapter, you may have feared he was dead. I feared he was dead. I was most assuredly sure he was dead. And I was actually, you know what, I was sad and I was slightly pissed off that he had died, at least in the manner that he did. But I was thinking, you know what, I have, my integrity has to go forward. This is Skyrim Roguelike. If I die... I die, but thankfully, I'm going to. I'm, I'm literally going to thank you guys for your responses in terms of giving me the opportunity to keep him alive. So many of you said, you know what, this is not the way he should go down. This was a glitch in the game and that sort of thing. And from here on out, Alamir is still alive. Now, here's the thing, though. We did see him trip. He did fall. He. What we're going to say is he passed out. Some of you actually even mentioned that. Maybe he passed out from the wine and that sort of thing. Got me thinking. What if he passed out because of the burning in his chest? Right? I had mentioned that earlier when he saw the wall. He had a sort of a burning in his chest and in his throat. What if the pain, as he was just running along, just exponentially just went out of control? It caused him so much pain. That fire that was burning inside of him caused him so much pain that he just he passed out. He, he blanked out, passed out, tripped, fell all the way down here and right now he has just awoken next to this bloody mess these bloody remains he's a little soaked in the oil and next to this trap as well that's attached to this spike wall trap and he goes to stretch and besides stretching and a little bit of pain that he has in his joints and such he goes to yawn there's no more pain but when he yawns this happens. Which freaks him out. Actually, that trap being triggered freaked me out as well. Um, so now he's, he's really, you know, he's slightly disturbed. He wants to be disturbed. But at the very same time, he feels good. He feels better than he has before. He woke up with what he's considering right now just some sort of aberrant superpower and he's going to continue on his journey I mean he's going to log this away in a notebook maybe a letter or two that he goes to write to Fuerta about his travels about all the things he's seen and done this is going to be one of the things he remembers and he's going to mention to her and perhaps show her if he ever makes it back to her alive that he now has an aberrant power we don't know anything about dragon shout he doesn't know anything about that all he knows is that he has something paranormal about him something that separates him from the rest of the world yet again but he likes it to Skyrim now I do have an axe and thanks to Voceros, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for you know bringing to my attention the fact that I can legally, outside of the Green Pact for the Bosmer and and and, and such, you know, basically not being able to harm vegetation, outside of Valen Wood, it's okay. Okay, now it's still not something that he likes to particularly do because this is something that's going to be sort of uh, entrenched in his culture, right? He grew up realizing it was bad to chop down anything that was that was of a plant right or to hurt anything that was a plant so this is still going to be awkward for him but he can do that outside of Valenwood and that's what he's going to do to survive now last chapter I mentioned that I was getting the axe and you, you're probably wondering why I wanted the axe the main reason I wanted the axe and I was going to explain that to you um, up until I you know died for no apparent reason um, sorry I didn't die I passed out um, was that I need to make a tanning rack and the reason I want to make a tanning rack is because I want to make a backpack for myself and the reason I want to make a backpack for myself is because I can increase the amount I can carry I can put more stuff in my backpack um, so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to go to our powers we are going to where is it du -du 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 -du. survival skills we're going to put that up and first things first we need to harvest some wood well, we need to harvest. Harvest firewood. We can do that. Why? Because we have an axe. And I got seven pieces of firewood. He mentions that he could use a nap. 
I guess passing out doesn't really count for sleeping. I'm probably hungry and thirsty as well. I haven't really done much of that since I started playing. He's probably parched and famished. Alright, so now I've got seven pieces of firewood. Um, so we're going to hit this, and we're going to craft an item. Now, miscellaneous in here should be, yep, there it is, tanning rack. Alright. We're going to use that. There we go. Place it. Um, right there is fine. Just right next to us. Place it there. Sure. Give it a second, I guess, to... Spawn? Well, it's taken a while. Hmm. Exit this. Maybe it didn't actually place because I was standing right next to it. I was too close. Of course, it's not in my inventory anymore. So, what happens? Okay, fine. Craft item. We're going to do it again. Yes. Hopefully this time it will work. Place it. Yeah, don't place it right next to me. There we go. Right there. How's that? Place it there. There you go. All right. Now we're in business. Um, we're going to use it. And first things first, we want to notice what we can do. I want to make a backpack, so... I can make a black backpack, or I can make a brown backpack. I need some leather strips. I need... I need eight, and I currently only have two... So let's make some leather strips. Um, there we go, there. Maybe another one, because it's only f four, I think. Yeah, okay, so. There goes six, I need four more. At least, I need two more, actually, so I got four more, though. So now I should be able to make, there it is, brown fur. Now I do realize that I'm using some of these pelts that I need for my grocery list, right? That's unfortunate, but he you have to understand the necessity of being able to have better and better gear. Um, I think we can pack that up there. There we go, taking that with us. And it says I'm too, I'm carrying too much to be able to run, but watch this, fixing to get rid of that problem. Because the carrying capacity is now increased by 50 points. I am now 173 of 210. So now I can move around freely. Um, hmm. Her fire is out. Um, how can I relight this fire. Is it possible to relight? Um, I'm going to try it with a torch. Hey, watch it. Don't, don't worry. This does not work. It says I feel completely warm. I guess because of the actual torch there. Maybe I can't do it with my weapon in hand. It won't register. There we go. Okay, you know what? You need to get more wood, because this wood is expent. There we go. That's what we're going to say. Um, let's see. I need to go back to my weapons. Hunting bow. 28 over 24. I want to put the best on. I think hunting bow is the best currently. There we go. And um, what are we like in terms of active effects? Okay, yes, we're definitely hungry and we're thirsty. We're not tired. We're just slightly tired. I could use a nap. That's what he said earlier. Um, or she said earlier, I should say. So let's go ahead and get some food. Food, where are you? Mammoth cheese. How are we? Full. Doesn't take much. But we don't have any water. Is there any water nearby? There is. I think it was that way. Yep. Alright. So we're going for a bit of a hike around the mountain to get to a water source. Let's check that again, make sure I'm going right away. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Shadows play tricks on me sometimes. Really messes me up. It freaks me out. Alright. Now, technically... Standing water, you have a 
much, 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 much higher um, chance of getting a disease from standing water, from drinking standing water. However, we are a Bosmer. We are highly resistant to diseases. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can get away with this. Or if there's a flowing water source nearby it, that would be something as well. Alright, I'm going to go this way. I should probably crouch just in case there's anything I can hunt along the way. Also, there's pouches and such. Shoulder pad pouches and everything that I can craft. And I will do that later. To increase my... Uh, my carrying capacity even more. Alright. Back on a road. How close are we to this water source? You know, Skyrim is very deceptive in how big it is. It looks rather sm well, it looks pretty huge on the map too, but it looks like some place you can just get to really fast and be done with it. But it takes a while. It takes a while to get there. And if you're tuning in for the first time, this is Skyrim Rogue Like. We have permadeath, so if you see me freak out in a fight, that's the reason. Also, this is Skyrim Rogue Like. We want to make things as difficult as possible. We do play on Master Difficulty, and we also do not do fast travel. Because fast travel is going to be sort of a sort of a cheat of types. I'm getting the high ground here just in case. I don't want to be assailed. Okay. In terms of all that is sketchy, Twilight is sketchy. Can't really see that well, but you can see enough to have your eyes play tricks on you. You think you see something, but you don't see anything. Um, looks like we are going the wrong way slightly. Feeling a bit peckish. That's okay. Don't worry. Is the water this way? The water seems to be this way. And get there and find out it's not water at all. It's a moat of lava! Alright. Drink that. And be merry. Actually, you know what? Alamir could probably drink it. He's got fire in his throat. Fire in his belly. Stays there all the time now, because he is an aberrant with superpowers. <laughs> it's like Spider-Man. You know, he passes out from the pain, wakes up with superpowers. That's the way it goes. Only he's not a spider. He is Bosmer. Now, I have to stand in the water to drink. And something sees me in the water. I don't like not being able to see what sees me in the water. Can we just get over to some place a little bit safer? I would really appreciate it. Something does see me too. Oh, a slaughterfish. Okay, that's not exactly that dangerous. Um, it would hurt, but it's not exactly that dangerous. Okay, so I need to... Where is my powers? There they are. I need something called, there it is, put that there, put that oh, put that there as well. And we're going to attempt this. I hope that, uh, oh, we're good, thirst has been quenched. And we did not get a disease. How awesome is that? Okay, now, we're also going to put our fire breath back on. And we're going to figure out where we are. Um, we need to do some hunting. It's too dark right now to actually see much. Unfortunately, like deer and such, they can, uh, they can sense us quite well before we can see them. Half moon mill discovered. I wonder if this is a mill full of friend or foe people. Well, there's a troll skull. The venison and such just hanging out here. 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but the fact that that slaughterfish is staying on my screen is aggravating. Um, so I'm going to go find him. And I'm going to go gut him. Like a real hunter. We're going to find him. Come on. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. Where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Follow me. Can I not see him? He doesn't actually follow up closer, does he? Hmm, how do you kill something like that? Kill something you can't see there. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to ignore it. Try your best to ignore it. I'm going to try my best. Uh, weapons. Actually, I'm going to put my dagger on that way. That there. There we go. So, up in here. Now I can go hunting bow. And I can choose between my dagger and my hunting bow a lot quicker. Sounds legit. Sounds legit to me. I should probably find some place to sleep, though. Now, that cave that I went to was a place to sleep. Or actually, now that I think about it, I could technically... Ammo. Mm, something's not working. Oh, I'm very cold. Well, doesn't that suck? It's nighttime. I need a fire. Why do I not have... I want to use my survival skills, but... Oh, I can't do that while I'm in... The water is frigid. Oh no, that's because I got wet. Okay, guys, I forgot about that part. Damn it. It's nighttime and I got wet. Let's use a torch. I gotta remember, stay out of the water. Um, there's a building here. Half Moon Mill. Um, okay, I don't really like just walking into places, people's places. Because shit usually goes down. But we're going to try it. I have my weapon drawn, that's good. Nice weapon you have there. But I don't suppose you'd consider putting it away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm dripping. I'm dripping water. Okay, so she's not uh she's not foe. At least not yet. I'm not gonna steal anything, I just wanna get close to her fire. Ish. Oh, sorry. I begin to warm up. There we go. Again, if you're tuning in for the first time in Skyrim Roguelike, um, we do have something known as Frostfall. And Frostfall increases our exposure rating. What that basically means is that we can be hurt or damaged or debuffed um, due to the elements, to the environment. If we get too cold, or if we get too damp, or we get too wet, like it just happened here, um, it tells you that, uh, you know, you're getting, you know, closer and closer to death. You can actually die from that as well. So I'm just warming up by this fire. Oh, man. I guess somewhere out there, there's still a slaughterfish that's pissed off. It needs to calm the hell down, that's all I know. 
Um, let's see, powers, I should have weather sense, so I'll put that as well. What do we have? A minus 40. I need to be warming up. I'm not warming up, though. I need to put my torch away, because it's just going to burn out. I wonder if she'll mind if I slept on her bed. That's own day. Now, technically, what I could do is I could kill her. <laughs> and sleep in her bed, but I'm not going to do that, because that just seems rude. I thought I saw guys walking around over there. Use wood chopping block. Um, actually, yes, I will do that. What happens if I do that? I cannot use this while in combat. <sighs> Stupid slaughterfish. What the hell? All right. There's a lot of things I can't do right now while I'm in combat. From a slaughterfish. Over there. That I can't seem to kill, either. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like, save, I think? And reload? And see if that clears it. One second, guys. Okay. And we are still in combat. Yep. Bit of an aggravation there. How's it going? You speak to a vigilant of Stendhal. Cavort with any Daedra. We will hunt you down. Stendhal be Hmm. I guess they don't like Daedra. I don't suppose they'd like the fact that I, uh eat humanoids either. Alright, we're gonna put our bow back on. We need to find uh, a place to sleep. Maybe sleeping will help us to... Uh... Oh, there's Falkreath. Now we can't go into Falkreath. We need to find a camp. Like a bandit camp or something. Um, you can get furs off of foxes, right? Or can you? You know what? It's not exactly a worthy foe. Foxes, I don't think, can actually harm you. I feel chilly. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'd understand that. There's got to be a bandit something around here. Anywhere there is a town, outside of town, there is a bandit camp. It's just, it's just the way things are. Um, what am I like right now? Active effects. I am cold. I'm just going to skirt around this town. Falkreath discovered. Alright, um... We're just going to... Don't worry about us. We're fine. That guard's thinking, Goddamn Bosmer. Freaked me the hell out. Was he pale skin? Freaks him out even more. Alamir's thinking, God damn Nord. Superstitious bastard. Um, there's stuff coming up here. To my knowledge, there is a bandit camp right outside of Falkreath, so we're going to try to find that. Um, so things might get a little dangerous here in a second. Although, I'm finally out of combat. 
I could probably, 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 probably. Where's my survival skills that they are? Um, craft item? Miscellaneous. Clean pelt, clean pelt. Um, I need a tanning rack. I need to put that on the ground. Put that down. Place it. Oh, no. Certainly not like that. That could work. Do that. Alright. Um, we're going to use it. And we're going to make... Small hide tent and bedroll. I need six clean pelt and two leather. Um, hmm. Am I going to have enough to do all this? Probably not, eh? Uh, how many clean pelts do I have now? And two leather. Okay, I have... Hmm. Twelve clean pelts and two leather. I just need a small one. Twelve leather. Eight leather strips. I don't think I'll have enough to do any of this, guys. Six clean pelts. I have only two. And two leather. Six clean pelts. How many clean pelts do I have now? It's not registering, it doesn't, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I made some. Oh, I've only got two. Mmm... All right. I would like to sleep. I would like to have a tent. But I don't think that's going to happen. Not right now. Alamir is going to have to just deal with it. Where are my shades at? Oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess that looks like a friendly. Wait. Is it a friendly? Talk, Imperial Soldier. Citizens, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Now don't worry. What are you doing that for? Doing what? I'm just oh god, I hope Oh no. What happened? I heard stuff. Whoa, okay then. I do believe this is the bandit area I was looking for, but they got here first. That's fine. I mean, it's less dangerous for me, that's for sure. Oh, she got shot through the side there, right through the kidneys. Steel arrow, I'll take it. Hmm, I'm beginning to warm up, that's good. I think uh, I think this is probably about as much time as I have for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed any part of this, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the more... For the, uh, subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. Um, and I'll see you guys later. I'm a bit... Uh, I'm going to sit down right next to this fire. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. This is Briarstone signing out.